Well, Lamoa speaks on the main reason as to why they broke up with Carol Sony, justifying it with the house he is building in his Kitale home. As Millie Chebi's three years old daughter asks questions as to why she has a surgery scar on the surface of her stomach, and Tanasha Dawn says she is now okay with the distance from her baby daddy Diamond Platinums even after the incident on her EP launch. And finally, Instagram blocks Wiz Khalifa's fans from liking any of his photos that he is smoking weed. To access these and more updates, make sure you log on to www.evemungai.com for the latest. My name is Kingsley Luwoko for Mungai Eve Entertainment News Roundup. Once again, online sensation and brand influencer Comedian Mula Moa comes open on her breakup with ex-lover Carol Sony, having a shoulder to lean on on Dr. Funike. Speaking on his show, Mula Moa says Carol Sony has a recurring ill behavior that the comedian couldn't condone. Taking full responsibility on the baby they share with Sony, the comic says his last impressive message at the time of the interview was some money he was sending for his child upkeep. I took care of the baby's maternity fee and all that pertained his hospital bill, the comedian justified. Mulamoa affirms that he is not a miser and his plans were not centered on the things below the nose, reiterating that Sony opted elsewhere where she wanted someone who will spend much on her. Living in a 9000 house does not mean I don't have money. I have over a million but it doesn't make sense when you tell me to drink 8,000 and there is a person who we pay 2,000 monthly to take care of our cows. I come from a place where money is valid and 1,000 Kenyan shillings can push my grandma for two weeks. You cannot convince me 10 to 15k a night and yet I will not be accountable for it." End of quote. Mulamwa says, separately, Mulamwa adds that he is building a house in his Kitale home bracing his financial wisdom from the reason as to why they broke up with Carol Sony. And now to some sensitive matter on a YouTube couple, Mili Chebi now goes through interrogation from her daughter Mila after several sensitive questions she approached to ask her mother. Taking to her Instagram page, Mili Chebi shares a short clip of her daughter Mila's showing a stomach surface, asking what had happened to her indicative is a healed surgery scam. She wrote this. Mila, I knew this day will come, but I didn't think it will be this soon. But when you give birth to a genius, what to do? For a minute, I went blank. This one caught me off guard, and I hope she understood what I meant. When time is right, I will explain to her in detail. Hashtag my miracle baby. Through Milichebi's YouTube channel, the couple took their phones through a round down of raising Miller on the 15th of August 2019. At 7 pm on April 5th, their daughter went under the knife after gastrointestinal endoscopy examination had confirmed that Miller had an egg sized mass in her stomach. This was after their doctor Ndungu refuted claims that she had a double organ in her body. On fears if their baby would make it out of the theater room, Milichebi says all her strength came from the Lord. Speaking on the matter, she gave gratitude to her media friends Chemutai Goin of Citizen TV and Jen Goiri alongside her family. The father of the now three years old Mila says their daughter profusely lost blood with a hitch on the liver. Better, she made it through the intensive care unit this whole experience they will remember in their lifetime. Miller made it through the whole journey and completely recovered after the mass was removed from her body. We can't wait to see Miller grow as a miracle child. Welcome to motherhood Mili Chebi. Moving on swiftly, singer Tanasha Donna is seemingly healing from her long-distant baby daddy as suggestive in her new recent post. The fashion designer took to her socials and wrote, I no longer react, I no longer argue, I simply withdraw." End of quote. She further advanced with her nuggets writing, Keep me different load, I don't mind being left out. Speaking of being a good person, the mother of one wrote on a different post, advising her fans to be comfortable in decision they make as good people citing that at the end they will surely win. Speaking of regrets, the songwriter finalized her spree, asking her followers not to allow hurtful people into their lives once again. 
She wrote these, Sometimes God works in very mysterious ways, not even sometimes, it is the majority of times, and sometimes God will send back a stressful, hurtful person or painful experience back into your life to remind you a lesson. End of quote. This comes barely days after the energy former presenter and singer Tanasha Donna had insisted that her relationship with Tanzanian heartthrob Diamond Platinums remains intact despite breakup rumors that have been flying around after her boyfriend snubbed her Donatella EP launch a week ago in Nairobi. Diamond flew into the country a day before the EP launch and even accompanied Tanasha to the press conference of the event but flew back to Dar es Salaam immediately after the pressers citing an disclosed emergency. But Tanasha has now refuted the claims maintaining that her love with her father of a son is blossoming like never before. Seems Tanasha is going through a tough healing process from her baby daddy Diamond the Platinums who actually came public that he is seeing as someone. And to some international stories, for today American based rapper Wiz Khalifa blasts the video and photo social networking platform Instagram over what he terms as violation to his freedom of expression. Taken to his Twitter, Cameron Gibral Thomas, popularly known as Wiz Khalifa writes, Instagram blocks my videos and not allowing people to like pictures of me smoking or holding weed in brackets which is legal and a form of expressing myself. So basically I can't get likes in your platform for being myself? He asks. And of quote, it is not clear if Wiz Khalifa sells or advertises his weed line on the platform as that will be the reason on violating Instagram community guidelines. The guidelines reads, Instagram does not allow or organizations to use the platform to advertise or sell marijuana, regardless of the seller's state or country. This means you can't directly advertise the sale of cannabis on Instagram. Note the keyword sale. Wiz Khalifa, who is a proud owner of a cannabis line, wrote these on the day of its launch. I'm really excited to finally share with the public to work with River Rock to raise awareness and end cannabis provision nationwide. Khalifa Kush is an Indica dominant hybrid known for relatively high THC levels, typically between 26 and 33 percent, that tends to leave users feeling energetic and creative. Wiz is not the only artist to have a marijuana line in the United States, like Khalifa Snoop Dogg has also developed his own cannabis strain as well as numerous other marijuana related businesses, ventures and former NBA great Clifford Robinson. We will keep you posted on the social platforms up Instagram response on Wiz Khalifa's claims on the platform blocking users to liking his photos and videos. To access these and more updates, make sure you log on to www.evemungai.com for the latest. Give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell. My name is Kingsley Oluoko from Mungai Eve entertainment news roundup.